Welcome to Pancake Bay Provincial Park. With some of the warmest waters that Lake Superior has to offer. Come and enjoy the pristine beach and the crystal clear waters. We are Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season four of our park reviews. We hope this helps you when deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Thanks for coming along, Camping with the Coles. Now we only get one life, I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. We're just leaving Rainbow Falls now, heading to Pancake Bay. So we're gonna be going south for 431 kilometers. So you can see here, we're at Rainbow Falls. We're gonna be going down to Pancake Bay. Right about here is where Wawa is. And when we're at Wawa, we're gonna be checking out the giant goose. Pancake Bay Provincial Park is located on the eastern shore of Lake Superior, approximately 75 kilometers north of Sault Ste. Marie. It boasts more than three kilometers of beautiful sandy beach and Caribbean blue water. Nice place to stop, stretch your legs on a long drive. It's the Wawa Tourism Information Center. It's also the home of the giant goose. Here's the goose. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are at the gatehouse right now. Mm -hmm. And our site, we just go down here. Okay, the gatehouse is over here. Oh, let me turn it this way. Oh, you want to go upside down? Because I was looking at it upside down, that's why. So we're here and we go all the way down here. Go <laughs> left and right and we're at 347, but we have to go to the fill okay. station. <laughs> but oh dear. this is the way we're that's actually at it up. right now. Okay. We're at the gatehouse and that's the way we want to go. So we go all the way like this. Oh, all the way down the way here. To the trailer fill Circle station. around and then we hang on the beach to road to 347. There's two lanes at the dump station, one for each direction, but there's only one hose to clean out your uh, stinky slinky and that hose is threaded. Even though there's only one fill spot and two dump spots, this is still uh, laid out pretty nicely. You can dump and have nothing to do with the people in line to fill. Same thing with filling, have nothing to do with people in line to dump, because it is a loop, and you can just drive out of the loop whenever you feel like it. So over here is the dumping area, and over here is the filling area. And I have to say, this is probably the nicest view I've ever had while filling up my water tank. Check this out. That's Pancake Bay.
So this is Site 347, but I gotta show you the best part of Site 347. Follow me. That's me. Welcome to our backyard. There are five campgrounds for a total of 157 electric and 170 non-electric sites. Hilltop Campground has 34 electric and 53 non-electric sites and is radio free. West Campground has one electric and 76 non-electric sites. West Central Campground has 71 electric and zero non-electric sites. East Central Campground has 28 electric and 13 non-electric sites. East Campground has 23 electric and 28 non-electric sites. Let's go check this campground out. five group sites and they can each accommodate five to 40 people. They have vault toilets and taps and all of them are waterfront. This is group site number 505 and check out that view. There's one camp cabin. It can accommodate up to six people. There's no uh, running water, but there's electricity and some appliances and it has a propane fireplace. There's a comfort station in East Campground and in West Campground. It has flush toilets, showers and laundry facilities. And there's a comfort station in Hilltop Campground that has flush toilets and shower facilities, just no laundry. They're all handicapped accessible. There's a dog exercise area in West Campground. There's also a dog beach area in between West and Hilltop Campgrounds. There's two children's playgrounds. They're next to the comfort stations in East Campground and West Campground. Next to the West Campground comfort station is an exercise area. There's an amphitheater. And there's rentals of canoes, kayaks, and paddle boards right on the beach. There are two hiking trails. The Pancake Bay Nature Trail, which is 3.5 kilometers and rated as easy. And the Lookout Trail, which is 14 kilometers and rated as moderate, heading to a beautiful lookout over Lake Superior. That's the lookout that shows where the Edmund Fitzgerald sunk in 1975. And the park has 3.2 kilometers of sandy beach. Much better than hiking in a buggy or a 
I agree. Check this out. Crystal clear water, too. It's coming, I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just Hey, <laughs> Lake Superior swimming. Yeah. Never thought we'd do it, but we're doing it. It's not so bad. Warmer than I expected. Show on the horizon soon will be there. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore. It's right in front of us if we just hold. When you're booking a site at Pancake Bay, location is very important. There's a lot of waterfront sites. The waterfront sites are really nice. They're not right on the water, but they're very close and you just walk right to the beach. Uh, they're usually pretty good size too. Um, but Pancake Bay, the campground itself, is just a little spit of land between Highway 17, the Trans-Canada Highway, and Lake Superior. So the highway is very close. Many of the campsites are right alongside the highway. And those campsites, generally the trailers face the highway and it's very noisy and you can see all the traffic going by. So you want to get as far away from the highway as possible. And if you can, waterfront is always best. All toilets in this park are all pit toilets, which means it's just a hole in the ground. There's no plumbing involved in the toilet system. They are a little bit on the smelly side, which pit toilets tend to be. What you can do to control that is dump your dishwater down the vault toilet and put the lid down to help control odors. Um, they all have either one or two sinks and soap, which is kind of an important thing. So they have no lighting, no garbage can, no hooks, but Overall, they're kept fairly clean, so I'm going to give them a flower. I think I could get used to waking up to this every morning. When it comes to cell service for TELUS, Kudo, Bell, and Virgin Mobile. Uh, throughout the park, it's about the same service. Uh, you do get okay service. If you're uh, watching videos though, you might get a little bit of buffering. Um, but you can check your email, check news, things like that. Um, probably not gonna do too well with FaceTime or a Zoom meeting. But uh, other than that, it's not so bad. East of the park is Agua Crafts, 
which is a lot of native grass. There's also the Canadian carver, which is a lot of hand carved wooden statues and scenes and things like that. And there's also the camper's grocery store. It has some grocery items as well as ice cream and an LCBO. The Voyager's Lodge is a rite of passage when you're coming up to Lake Superior. You have to stop here, you have to check it out because they are famous for their apple fritters. And that's what we do every time we come up this way. Stop in, get some apple fritters. They are hot, they are oh so good. It's also a general store, an LCBO, and a gas station. These are some serious business. I think they weigh like 10 pounds each. <laughs> Lots of apples, so it's good for you. 11 kilometers east of the park is Batchawana Bay Provincial Park. It's a day use only park. But you can come here, sit on this beach, enjoy this view, and it's very similar warm waters as in Pancake Bay. This is a great place to check out. It's right off the highway. The highway is about 200 meters behind us here. And you can bring your RV in. Plenty of parking and there's washrooms. This is Chippewa Falls. It's the halfway point on the Trans-Canada Highway. Trans-Canada Highway runs from St. John's, Newfoundland to Victoria, British Columbia. Well, time again for Cole's Notes for Pancake Bay Provincial Park. This is our last park on Lake Superior. It's the southernmost park that mm -hmm. we've been to in our seven park tour. Southern, yes. Southernmost park on Lake Superior. That's right. Yeah. So what did you think of this park? I was a little bit, I wasn't sure what how I was gonna like it, but I seem to have liked it. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> what surprised me is uh, like, so we've been in Lake Superior in a few of the parks and that water is cold. Man, that water's cold. And uh, so we never did go swimming in it. The most we did at Agawa Bay, we walked in, you up to your waist. To Bathtub Island. Yeah. yeah that was and, it. And it hurt. Um, it was, it was so cold. So we kind of figured Pancake Bay would be the same thing. We got here, it was a, just a stunning beach, beautiful beach. And we thought, man, this is such a beautiful beach, but too bad you can't go swimming in the water. And then we went in the water. It, it was cold, but it was tolerable. It wasn't bad at all. It was it kind of reminded me of Lake Huron around this time of year. Like it, it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. And it's we, in the bay, so it's a little bit warmer. Yeah, we found out that uh, uh, it's a sheltered bay and it's quite shallow, so the sun does heat it up. So mm -hmm. it's considerably warmer than it is like at uh, Lake Superior Provincial Park. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we went out on the paddleboard and kayak. And, we did, uh, it was calm. John and I swam and Sue swam. Mm -hmm. And did you swim? Hmm. I went up to my waist, I think, yes. Okay, so most people's knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but still my waist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was fine. Yeah, I was walking around in it. 
Yeah, and as far as the, the campground is concerned, um, we have waterfront site. Uh, that the, makes a difference. Yeah, the water's just behind this row of trees here. We go over a, a little bridge and over a creek and we're yeah, at the water. Yeah, there's little pathways all along between the sites to get to the beach. Yeah, um, as you can probably hear, maybe you can't. You can hear it. You can hear the traffic. Yeah. So the, uh, Pancake Bay is just a little spit of land. It's uh, parallel to the highway. It's right there. Yeah, the campground is between the highway and Lake Superior. Mm -hmm. um, so you're pretty close to the highway and the highway is Howie 17, the Trans Canada Highway. So there's big transport trucks going by all the time. So the sites on the back row, you might want to avoid at all costs. <laughs> yeah, we looked at some of those sites and some of them, uh, the way you would situate your trailer, you're just facing the highway. Yeah, um, that would be best. loud and you'd be seeing the traffic going by all the time. Those wouldn't be very good sites. No. The closer you get to the water, the better it is. Mm -hmm the less traffic noise there is. And uh, I don't know, the sites seem to be getting closer, getting better the closer you get to the water too. Mm -hmm. um, so the park overall, um, there was two hiking trails, but to be honest, we were planning, we had planned to do the one, lookout one, but- It we, was seven kilometers. We were a little bit tired from our sleeping giant and Rainbow Falls hikes, yeah. so we bailed. Yeah, it's a lookout hike, which means it's gonna be a lot of uphill and then a lot of downhill. And uh, the four of us talked about it, thought, yeah, we mm. should do it, and went, you know what? Mm. We're kind of beaten down from Sleeping Giants we'll still. to save it for the next time. <laughs> and then we went to Rainbow Falls and did uh, we did a lookout trail there, yeah. and I did a second lookout trail there. Yeah. So it's a lot of up and down hiking. And we decided just to kind of take it easy on, on this trip and make it more of a, a beach trip, mm -hmm. because Pancake Bay is about the beach. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice beach. I'm not a huge beach person, but I really like the beach here. Mm -hmm. Um, there's, it was, you, you saw earlier, there's two areas for your dogs, the dog beach and a dog, like, exercise area, which is great. Um, now there's no visitor center here, no. and, uh, there's not, like, there's a bit of a park store at the office, but it, nothing, no nothing groceries for groceries or anything. Or anything. That's at the camp store across the highway, or the Voyager. <laughs> for the sites, they're pretty private, which is good, I think, mm -hmm. on the most part. Um, except for the back row. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so. For a rating? I don't think there was too many negatives other than the highway. Yeah, you gotta take off a little bit for the highway. Yeah. Uh, and no visitor center. Yeah. Um, now they had an amphitheater, but uh, we couldn't find any, uh, any activity list. No. Like they had the activity anything. boards around but they were always empty. Yeah. So, and we, to be honest, we didn't go and ask any staff about it, but uh, yeah, there's no activity board, but we did go by the comfort station and we saw some activities going on there, park staff member with uh, some kids and they had mm -hmm. coloring and things like that. Yeah, and doing some activity. Yeah, so there are activities, we just couldn't find the, uh, the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this park is really wide, it's just. <sighs> yeah, it's 3.2 kilometers it Makes up along. for going that way, it goes this way. Yeah along the water. But overall, I enjoyed the park. I love being up in this part of the territory. Yeah, I definitely it's recommend it. As far as Lake, Lake Superior goes, you can actually swim in this water. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a, a big plus. Yeah. So that brings us to our rating. rating. Basically, anytime you come up this far north, you get uh, more people that are about camping rather than just day tripping or yeah. Um, real newbies at it. It's usually a little more experienced people. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's, it's a nicer place to camp how at. How barren the beach was. Yeah, I'm Saturday. Sure it's a really long beach, but it wasn't packed at all. Yeah, Saturday it wasn't packed. It's Sunday, and uh, there's hardly anybody on the beach. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really nice. That's good. Um, I think I think we give it a nine. A nine. Nine. Yeah, not quite as good as, as Agawa Bay and Sleeping Giant, but- uh, It's right on its heels. It's yeah. getting close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we great, liked it a great lot. Great park. So next, we are heading from here and going to Shoots. Provincial Park, yes. So we're saying goodbye to Lake Superior and hello to Georgian Bay. So we're gonna be checking out Shoots mm -hmm. and uh, stick around for that video. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs>